One of the biggest problems with farming is that um, there's no land for young people to get their hands on in a long-term committed kind of way. So we'd like to be a model of something that would work for that. So I have a business that's doing well and we're, you know, it's okay, it's fun and we're cash strapped. But the irony is I have RSPs and I'm not really a big believer in where they're sitting right now. And so the idea would be if we could take three to four people and we could buy this farm with our RSP money and do it as a self-directed fund and then just allow young farmers to come and work the land. And I think the reason that this would make sense for Monforte is it's on the way to Stratford. So we get, you know, there's 8,000 tickets a day for the theater. So there's a lot of traffic on this road, a lot of tourists go past. It's a beautiful farm, but there's a lot of traffic. And I think a lot of people would stop. There's a shop just down the road that has 60,000 people per year stop at it. So I think it's not unreasonable to think that you could sell a fair bit off of a farm like this and get a fair bit of interest. So as a business model, it kind of makes sense. The other thing is Monforte really wants to diversify its base and start to do preserves and things that work with charcuterie and meats and crackers. So that would round out what we offer. And it also gives a place for the farmers that are farming here to put their products. So we could turn it into mustards and chutneys and and jellies and things that work with cheese. So I think it's a really cool spot. It's beautiful. It's 87 acres. Right now it's set up as a horse farm and so my Clydesdales are here. Uh, but we would like to turn it into much more of a working farm. So the front pastures which are right on the highway on the way into Stratford could be used to grow hops and market vegetables and all kinds of things that would be so beautiful right by the roadside. Um, and we would still keep horses on the land for sure, but specifically we would start to work the land with some of the horses. Um, so that would be really fun to do. There's a big riding arena we could hold events in. There's already a store set up on, in the barn that we could utilize. And there's a parking lot that they had put down that can, there's a hundred cars we could park. So we could have festivals and fun things and events and welcome people to a different model of farming and one about community farming. There's a beautiful old stone house and we'd like to serve dinners there from things that are produced on the farm. And there's a spring-fed pond and one of the ideas is could we sort of have artist residents around the pond or farming residents so that the farmers could stay on the land during the season or artists could come and rent studio space and uh, and live here for a while and create. It's, uh, I think, I think from a, just a business perspective, it's a right place. It's a right farm and it has huge potential to be a model of something that we'd love other people to replicate. We're hoping that this is the next Monforte model, that the home farm for Monforte could be something that helps preserve farmland in Canada and specifically in Ontario, that people could use this as a model to hold land in trust so it doesn't get bought up by huge investment houses that really care only about the bottom line, that, uh, you know, you need to farm in a way where it's viable, and that's really tricky, but if it was under an RSP, then the land itself holds a value, and so then whatever the farmers farm is sort of uh, a way that they could feel secure about their income for the next few generations, or the next few decades, whatever that turns out to be. So if you want to call the dairy, and uh, we can have a conversation about it. Right now we have uh, two investors, and my, myself and one other, and we're sort of looking for four. We think that's the right number to gather around a farm. So there's four to five investors, and we're just looking for people who have RSPs that would like to self-direct and believe in this sort of idea and model, and we'd like to have that conversation this summer. It would be great to see if we can pull this deal together and, and uh, yeah. By next spring, we could be farming vegetables in the front pastures of this land. It would be great. So give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever works. So let's farm together.